So we'll look at the case now of a, uh, a plug flow reactor or a PFR with simple second order kinetics. So we've got a tubular reactor, we've got a volumetric feed rate Q meters cubed per second. Uh, that has a concentration of a starting material A, CA naught moles per cubic meter. Okay, now we're going to travel along the reactor, along distance X. At the inlet, we're going to define that X equals naught. And at the outlet, we're going to say that X equals L, which is our desired design length. And over those same distances, CA varies from CA naught at the inlet. I'm going to say it's got um, uh, a value of CAL at the outlet. Um, we've got a cross-sectional area of A, and it's quite convenient to think in terms of the velocity. So we've got uh, velocity is just the volumetric flow rate divided by the cross-sectional area, which we're going to call U. Let's say meters per second. Now the generalized um, equation to describe the PFR was derived earlier, and that was R A equals Q over A D C A by dx, which can be written with the velocity term as u times dca by dx. And we're going to define our reaction rate now in terms of second order kinetics. So we say that ra is equal to minus k times ca squared. So it's minus because uh, it's a reaction rate of a which is being consumed. And we're going to uh, take the simple case of second order and, uh, and assume that it's second order uh, in our starting material A. And in this case, K is the kinetic rate constant. And because it's a second order reaction, the rate constant has units of meters cubed, moles to minus one, seconds to the minus one, like one over concentration per second. And we can substitute uh, this equation into here, and we get that minus k times ca squared is equal to u times dca by dx. And we'll just make a note of another assumption here because. In order to do this integration, we're going to assume that k is constant, so the kinetic rate constant is constant, and that, that will be the case if we have constant temperature along the length of the reactor. Okay, if we do that, we get that uh, we, can, we can do the integration, take the dx across here, and we can get that... Um, minus k times the integral dx, and we're going to integrate from x equals naught to x equals l, is equal to u times the integral dca over ca squared. And we're going to integrate ca from ca naught to ca l. So this is a fairly straightforward integration. So we've, what we've got there is x multiplied by minus k, and that's from not to l. That equals u. That's why this in integral. So the integral of one over c a squared d c a is minus one over c a. And again, we're going to take limit c a naught. 
to C A L. So that's fairly straightforward. That gives us minus K times L is equal to U multiplied by minus 1 of the CAL minus minus, so that becomes plus 1 over CA0. Uh, and then we can just rearrange that to give us the required length. So you get that L equals, we've taken the minus K over to that side, so I'm dividing both sides by minus k, so that gives you u over k, and we take the minus inside the brackets, and that gives us 1 over CAL minus 1 over CA0. So that gives you that the length is equal to the your velocity divided by the rate constant multiplied by the, the difference of the reciprocals of the concentration, uh, the inlet, the outlet. And that's very similar to the um, uh, batch reactor case, um, which is expressed in terms of time rather than distance. So very similar, and that's the, that's the, um, the simple form to, get to calculate the length for a second order uh, reaction.